Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we open up old school magic cards because it is another mail day video and uh, I'm pretty excited because I've got mail from my buddy Kiefer from the States and I think he sent me some Homelands cards. I think, I'm not sure, but I'm going to keep this for last. Uh, and I also have mail from the Czech Republic. I ordered a couple of cards because I want to finish a playset, so that should be in here. So I'm actually gonna start with this. Let's get some scissors going. There we go. And this is actually um, part of a combo that I want to start playing. So I can maybe show that to you. Okay, so these are cards. Let me check if there's no personal info. Here are the cards themselves. And some paperwork, I can keep that. Let's see, how do we open this up? There we go. So these are two cards from Legends. They're just one mana to cast. And we got some modern stuff. And here we go, Primordial Ooze. So Primordial Ooze is a very special card. It's one red to cast for a 1-1 creature, right, from Legends. And then this, this makes it interesting. Must attack each turn if possible, right? Gains plus one, plus one um, at the end of your upkeep. Use counters, then pay one per counter, or Ooze deals one damage to you for each counter and becomes tapped, right? So... Every upkeep, you would put a counter on here. You have to pay a mana per counter. If you cannot pay, the creature will tap itself and deal one damage to you. So it's a pretty aggressive creature and you've got to invest a lot of mana into it. So maybe you're thinking, why would you want to play with this card that sounds horrible? Well, there is a little trick. These are my other two, by the way. So now I have a full play set of Primordial Oozes. How cool is that? And there is a trick because magic is this funny game if you combine, if you put a plus one plus one counter on here and then a minus one minus one counter, and if that happens at the same time, then they actually cancel each other out. Now there is a card in Magic Old School that puts minus one minus one counters on creatures, and that is this card, Unstable Mutation. So if you have a Primordial Ooze and you enchant it with an Unstable Mutation, it stays a 4-4 four, four forever. You know, because during your upkeep, what happens is Primordial Ooze puts a plus one, plus one counter on it, making it a five, five. But Unstable Mutation puts a minus one, minus one counter on it, making it a four, four again. And those two counters cancel each other out according to the rules, the modern rules of Magic the Gathering. So if you combine these two cards, you just have a four, four. You still have to attack every turn, but hey, you know, it's a four, four. You don't have to pay any mana for it. It doesn't tap itself, doesn't deal any damage which is pretty sweet. So I kind of, you know, I kind of like that idea. So that's kind of the first part of the mail date that I uh, that I wanted to show you here. So that's my Primordial Ooze deck in the making. And now let's continue with our second envelope. So this is post by Kiefer. Open it up. Kiefer is actually a patron of the channel and um, yeah, just a great guy. He sent me some cards in the past as well. And I'm actually going to check, Kiefer, if I have some Chronicle cards for you, because I know you've been collecting Chronicles. Look at this. Very sturdy there. We can already see the um, the Homelands cards in here. So by many people, Homelands is regarded as the weakest set. Let's see if I can open it up. Yep, there we go. And um, yeah, you know, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. There are, there are a couple of strong cards in here, but what I like about Homelands most is, is the um, the history of the set. So it was uh, a design first a set, or how do you say it again? A flavor first and mechanics later set. So they started with the storyline and then they thought of, okay, what are these cards actually going to do? And I, I think that's a pretty cool way to design cards. It doesn't always work out, unfortunately. So here we have an Evaporate. So it deals one damage to each blue creature and white creature. Sorcery speed, three mana, pretty steep. We've got a Spectral Bears. This is actually a card that you used to see some play in the sideboard. So it's a 3-3 for one green and one. And if Spectral Bears is declared as an attacker and defending player controls no black creatures, it does not untap during your next untapped phase. So Spectral Bears is great against, um, against opponents who play with the color black. Then we've got a Shrink. So one green instant creature gets minus five, minus O until end of turn. 
I wish it would say minus five, minus five, or maybe minus three, minus three, that it's the opposite of Giant Grove. Then it would be a really good card. Probably too good now that I think about it. Um, and then we have Sarah Paladin. Two white and two for this Paladin creature, a two, two creature. You can tap it to prevent one damage to any creature or player. And then he's got this uh, weird ability, two white and one, tap it, attacking does not cause target creature to tap this turn. So that's kind of like this, this funky ability, right? Ooh, we've got this Samite Alchemist. So it's kind of a, a super alchemist. Um, one white and three, you can tap it, two white and, and tap, prevent up to four damage to a creature you control. Tap that creature, the creature does not untap during your next untap phase. So that's usually the deal with these cards and the sets like Fallen Empire and Homelands. Also Ice Age actually, they're already not great cards. And then on top of that, they have an extra drawback. So obviously this card is a reference to Samite Healer, which could prevent one damage to any creature or player. And this one can only prevent damage to a creature. And then you have to tap that creature and it doesn't untap for a whole turn. I mean, flavor wise, it makes sense because it's kind of like in the hospital. But if you look at how to play this card, it's already just two white and tap to prevent four damage is already not fantastic, you know? So they could have just kept the card like that. Also, it's four mana for an O2. It's, it's, it's really not a great card. Then we've got Cuscan Keep. Again, this is a very exciting idea, right? This, these triple mana lands. It's very new, it's very exciting, but unfortunately they keep asking two mana and tap for one black, two mana and tap for one green. If it would just have been one, one, one for each of the colors, this land would be a much, much better land. It would basically kind of be a filter land. But um, nope, unfortunately. Ooh, this card is actually one of the most valuable cards, I believe, in the set. Wall of Kelp, two blue to cast, two blue and tap. Put a Kelp token into play. Treat this token as an 01 blue wall. And Kiefer, oh, wow, this is amazing. Kiefer, my man. That is insane. A didgeridoo. So it's one to cast for an artifact. Three, take a minotaur from your hand and put it directly into play as though it were just summoned. Wow, that is uh, that is pretty insane, Kiefer, that you're sending this uh, to me. I, I now definitely have to step up my game in sending you some Chronicle cards back. This is very, very generous. Um, like I said, Kiefer is a patron. We started talking about Homelands on the Discord and said, you know, I've got some Homeland cards. How many cards do you still need to finish your collection? And, you know, I just send them a list and say, you know, have a look. I really didn't expect a didgeridoo. It's also in absolute pristine condition. Wow, I gotta, I gotta sleeve this up. I gotta get a sleeve. This is unexpected. Let's have a look. So I got a sleeve here. There we go. So Didgeridoo, a super good card. And, and a Minotaur is a thing these days. There's so many Minotaurs. When this came out, you didn't have that many. Actually, Homelands introduced a few new ones that you could play a Minotaur tribal. For the longest time, only Herloon Minotaur was the only Minotaur in the, in the card game of Magic. And here we see a Cemetery Gate, one black and two, protection from black and 05. Carapace, kind of funky art. That's all I'm gonna say, kind of funky art. I'll let you decide <laughs> what I mean by that. One green enchant creature, target creature gets plus O plus two, sacrifice carapace to regenerate target creature carapace enchants. Actually a pretty decent card. Again, I wish it would give plus two plus O instead of plus O plus two. So it's, a, it's again one of those creatures that you would, or one of those cards that you would think, I wish I could just tweak one little thing not to make it overpowered, but just to make it a little bit more playable. Another carapace, sweet. And then an ambush party. What I love about ambush party, these are one of the first cards in the game, together with cards like Nether Shadow, that actually have this haste ability, right? They can attack the turn they come into play, just like a card like Bull Lightning, Nether Shadow. Those are actually the only two that I can think of right now. Uh, and ambush party was one of those cards that could do that. So a very um, unique ability on a card at the time. So one uh, red and four for a three one creature with first strike. So again, this card, pretty good. If it would be four mana, it would actually be playable. Another ambush party. So this is amazing. And of course, let's just have another look at 
the didgeridoo and the beautiful wall of kelp. Let me get a sleeve for the wall of kelp as well. Absolutely beautiful card here. There we go, sleeving it up. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Kiefer, for sending these cards. It's uh, it's quite special that you're sending these out to me, man. You're just, you're too generous. Uh, and also thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.